30 seconds and counting. Astronauts report it feels good. T minus 25 seconds. 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9. Ignition sequence starts. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. Tower cleared. Welcome, everyone. It is finally time to play Imperion Galactic Survival. And here we are. So, you can start with Akua, which is the easiest planet. So you can see the stats down here. Planet type is temperate. Planet difficulty easy. Gravity is a little bit more than Earth normally would be. Um, not really enough to notice, though, probably. Um, temperature is well within normal human, you know, existence. Um, it is breathable. This is another big thing you want to look for. And then, you know, resources. All these elements will be needed to build ships. So that's good to keep in mind. Ninguis. A moon of former splendor. This one is breathable. Um, almost half the gravity of Earth. That one's tempting. You know, we might start with that one. Asperon, this is kind of a swamp planet. Yeah, alien swamp. Almost normal gravity. Also breathable. Or Skillon. Yeah, that's essentially like starting on Mars, kind of. Um, and not breathable. So, those are the main starting planets. You know what, let's start with Akua because it might have this really good view and I kind of want to see it. So, here we go. So you can see we are starting out in our escape pod, crashing down toward the planet. I kind of want to land toward the space here, but I also kind of want to land toward the water. I don't know. Let's start out with the base. Could be ran by aliens who are either friendly or not friendly. Could be abandoned. Mostly we just want to look for resources. And whenever you come down on a planet like this, it's always like, you know, very random. Um, oh, look at that. As we hit the ground. Emergency situation detected. Okay, so... Robinson Protocol UCH-001A initiated. Do you want to activate the tutorial help information system? So for anyone who is interested in playing this game, there is the tutorial, obviously. Um, I don't need it. I'll be your tutorial for today. Uh, but... Yeah. Alright, so we have a little bit of food. Bandage. BDA. Detector, which, um... Put this on the hotbar. Survival tool, also on the hotbar. Flashlight, I guess. You can see this is the flashlight. Once we get an actual suit, we'll have one on the suit. What is this thing? A damaged cyborg. I wish I could help you, friend. I'm sorry. Um, so the scanner... Oh, that looks different. They didn't used to look like that. You hit that, and it shows you what's around. You got an iron deposit right there. Big site terminus. And you have to be within a certain range to actually detect these things. So let's go check out the dig site. Survival tool. Right click to change the mode. Resources. Salvage. Defense. Defense is like for fighting off, you know, what it says, creatures. I like to pick a lot of the plants because that gets you XP. And XP is important for leveling up, and you can't build ships till you level up. So, plant fibers are ultra important early game. And yeah, get a load of that view. Oh no, we can't get in it. Oh, okay, maybe we can. <laughs> hmm.
Or we can look in here. Oh, we're getting radiated. From something. Uh, J to turn on the jetpack. Oh, we don't have a suit. We don't have any light armor right now. Take all that. Multi-charge powers, different tools. Um, I think the multi-tool specifically. Seal the entrance. The ice. Unfortunately, the main power switch is down there. Be getting materials this early on. Let's take all this stuff. Oh, we got a multi tool already. That's lucky. See, so like this, and pretty sure it's just a rock. But, got a resource mode. See in the top left. Oh, carbon substrate. This is definitely an ore. You see the color of it? Iron ore. Look how close that moon looks now. Oh, that's a planet, Skillon. That's the uh, Mars type planet. Maspron, the swamp planet, and that's the other one that I was debating on starting on, Ding Ninguis. All right around this gas giant. And so there is like, so there's this little area, and then there are other planets in the solar system, and then um, beyond that, you've got, you know, you can go to other places in the galaxy. So there's a lot of planets to visit. And so you do have to be careful what planets you go to at different times, because if you have, like, say that you find a planet with a super high amount of gravity, and your ship is not super strong, you know, you've got, like, weak thrusters or whatever, um, you can actually get stuck on the planet. You'll, like, fly your ship down into the atmosphere, and the planet's gravity will suck you to the ground, ship and all. And, uh, yeah, you will be essentially stuck there till somebody rescues you, like a friend, or um, you find a way to build a ship with bigger thrusters, or, or better thrusters. And you see how much I'm leveling up just from picking these plants. Sometimes you get more from that than you do actually, like, you know, exterminating creatures. It's also been a long time since I've started on Akua. Normally, uh, I, I go with some random different scenario. Or different planet. Because in the uh, Steam Workshop, they can actually make different custom scenarios, add their own, you know, NPCs and storyline to it and all that stuff. So the replayability for this game is pretty impressive. Okay, so I realized I made a mistake. I went over the entire HUD and then uh, realized my camera was covering it up. So right below, right here, um, you'll see the HUD in the bottom left corner, which has my health, hunger, below that stamina. You can see I'll make the number go down, see I'm sprinting and it's going down from 500. And then below that is the auction, which um, I don't have a suit on, so it obviously is zero because there's no auction in, in the suit that I don't have. Um, above that, you see a little guy with a jetpack. Uh, that's your jetpack, whether it's turned on or off, it'll be lit up if it's on. Um, the helmet, that'll be lit up if I'm wearing my helmet. And then uh, auction is right next to that. It's lit up right now because we are in a breathable environment, but if we weren't and we had our helmet off, that would be not lit up at all. So those are the main ones you wanna pay attention to. Um, the PvP thing, that'll light up uh, if you're in a PvP area, depending on if you're in a server that, you know, you gotta worry about that sort of thing. Also, real quick, let's look at our inventory and our menu system here. So, this is the inventory, um, all of our little goodies that we have right now. The Explorer tokens, that actually just got reskinned. I'm not used to seeing it that way, so that's kind of nice. Um, I think before it was like a little white box, kind of like this. Um, so up here... This is the skill tree. Um, all things you can unlock. Um, obviously, to start with, we'll want to get a drill. Because that's going to be what allows us to harvest things. Oh, we can't get it to level 10, though. Hmm. And we're level 3 right now. Alright, um... Let's unlock some weapons. And the other thing we'll do... Look up here. It's our PDA back there. This is the other main thing that you're going to look at the most, probably. 
Um, these are all the ships and things that we can create. This this is basically the symbol for showing all of them. Um, but then you get Capital Vessel, which is like the big ship. And this is the thing I like that you can do in this game that you can't do in stuff like No Man's Sky. You can have multiple people in your ship at once, um, which obviously with the frigate or the freighters or whatever they have in No Man's Sky, you can. But in this one, they can actually walk around the ship, uh, even if it's a small vessel, which is what I'm on now. Or even a hover vessel sometimes, um, which is the one that you can't like actually leave the planet. It's literally a, ho a hovering vessel um, in the base here. But yeah, like even in a small vessel, like the, the main ship, like in No Man's Sky that you fly around the most of the time, you can have multiple uh, seats in it, and you can have people walk around inside the ship and stuff, so... And use your, your things, your constructors, um, which is like the crafting table of Minecraft, you know, that kind of thing. Um, the other thing here, so like in the small vessels, or this is the hover vessels actually, but um, you'll see this little icon, kind of an SD card looking thing, that means that this uh, blueprint is already built into the game. Whereas if it has this little wrench icon and gear icon, um, that means it's from the Steam Workshop. And so basically to craft this stuff, all you have to do is get the material. So like this carbon substrate, copper, silicon, this is the number that you want. You put it in there, see we just send it to factory, and then you just put the items in there. Like you, you don't even have to use like the ingot form. If you have raw stuff like this, you can even put that in there. Um, oh, sorry. I gotta do this. Like, uh, these are too high of a level, so we don't have them yet. This is a level one thing, so it's like a hover bike, so we can do that. So, two factory. And then now you see it's over here. You have to put this stuff in there, so let's put this. Bam. And you'll see we have 21 out of 58. Um, let's put this in. And you see that one, it gave us multiple things. And that's kind of nice. And that'll go. You can also hold, hold shift and transfer instantly. Um, this one does not com contribute to the blueprint. That did. Um, yeah. So that's all we can do for now. Um, but you see, once you do that, um, and you have all the materials in there, you can click start production, and it'll be done in 3 minutes and 13 seconds, and then you can just spawn it. And that's all you have to do. So uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, I like that system a lot more than I like um, something like Space Engineers, where you take hours upon hours upon hours to build anything. Oh, guy, you startled me. Are you friendly? You are. Okay. This is a Talon uh, warrior. They are typically not hostile whatsoever, unless you make them mad. So, yeah, they're more naturist, they kind of just walk around, do whatever. One of the other important things for this game is the hunger, the hunger system. And so, like, you can see our hunger's gone down a bit, um, so we'll eat an energy bar. These do expire, you see it has a perish time. I don't know if you can see that over my, my camera, I think you can. Uh, so if you want to craft more, come over here to the survival constructor, which is like built in, you just have it. Um, and you can make it with two plant proteins. And you can see we have 14. So let's make a couple of those. And so once it's done here, it'll go to the output. And one of the tricks is you can actually leave it in the output and eat it straight from there. So that way it doesn't take up an inventory slot and it also does not expire. So one of the first things that you want to unlock too is the portable constructor. That's going to do a lot of stuff. Um, so we just unlocked that. Go and craft one. So one of the ways to get carbon substrate is from rocks. Um, if we can find like a big boulder or something to break down into crushed stone, then the crushed stone will break down into carbon substrate. You see this giant rock? We actually can break it down. Look at all the parasaurs. Just like the parasaurs in Ark Survival Evolved, they will just run away, they're not gonna mess with you. Raptors, on the other hand, 
Also, these little upside-down corn dog looking things, those are really important because they are plant protein. Anyway, portal constructor. So let's put down our portal constructor. And then, like if I had another player in here with me in my faction, I would check this box so they can use it as well. Um, and then we'll put this in there to make copper ingots. You can see that's how you do that. So if you hold shift, it'll make 10 at a time. Is this not the same place we visited before? I don't remember this back half. Maybe because it was dark, I didn't see it. Okay, well, now that I know that we can dig with the survival tool, now that I've uh, remembered... Oh, look at this. Oh no. 